Hello, I am Neeraj. Welcome to the tutorial on restricted Boltzmann machine. This tutorial is divided into three parts. In the first part of the tutorial, I will discuss about basic overview of restricted Boltzmann machine. In the second part of the tutorial, I will discuss about some training issues of restricted Boltzmann machine. And finally, in the third part, I will summarize the entire training process of restricted Boltzmann machine. So, let us start. In this uh, part, first of all, we will go through some basic overview of restricted Boltzmann machine. Actually, restricted Boltzmann machine contains only two layers, visible layers and hidden layer. Visible layer contains input nodes and hidden layer contains nodes which contains hidden variable or latent variable. Now what is latent variable? Suppose we go through some example of game like football, cricket, tennis. We already know that football and cricket are outdoor games. Tennis is indoor game. So outdoor and indoor game category is the extra information about football, cricket and tennis. We call this information as a latent information or latent variable. This type of information generally we use in classification in, in several and different uh, task of restricted Boltzmann machine. Now important thing is restricted Boltzmann machine is a symmetrical bipartite graph. You can see that in this sample restricted Boltzmann machine diagram each node of visible layer is connected to all the nodes of the hidden layer. Similarly each node of hidden layer is connected to all the nodes of the visible layers. Now the symmetrical part is like that. Suppose we have a restricted Boltzmann machine with visible layer and hidden layer like that. We can map it like that then it shows a complete symmetricity in the architecture so that's why we use the symmetrical bipartite graph another thing that you can see that there is a no connection between visible layer nodes or hidden layer nodes. This is a restriction. That's why it is called restricted Boltzmann machine. Due to these restrictions, we can run more efficient algorithm which are not possible with traditional Boltzmann machine like gradient based constructive divergence. Restricted Boltzmann machine can also be useful in deep neural network or deep learning architecture. For example, it is a basic component in designing of deep belief network. In traditional deep belief network we generally use a visible layer similar to like this like visible layer and after that uh, we can use several stacking of hidden layer like this and finally the last hidden layer 
we can use uh, some architecture like that so due to some pre-trained uh, stacking of uh, rbm we can design the deep belief network now another important part of this uh, restricted boltzmann machine architecture is all the edges are either bidirectional or undirectional now the next part is how we can fade the input how we pass the data to these input variables for this we use one hot encoding what is one hot encoding suppose we have three name of three games like football we represent it as f cricket as c and tennis as d now how to represent this in one hot encoding we can use it like So this is the one hot encoding of this three game. Actually one hot encoding transforms the categorical features to a format that can be useful in regression or classification. We can use the one hot representation for uh, uh, latent variables or hidden variables also. Now final important part with uh, restricted Boltzmann machine is it is a, it supports generative learning or unsupervised learning we can also say as uh, it uh, as a generative stochastic generative stochastic artificial neural network we will discuss in the later part why it is generative stochastic uh, why it supports the generative uh, stochastic type artificial neural network architecture now let us uh, go through some uh, huge cases of or simple uses of res restricted Boltzmann machine so the first use is classification we can use the restricted Boltzmann machine to classify images XML data and test text etc uh, similarly we can use RBM for imbalanced data problem what is imbalanced data problem actually in uh, multi-class classification several times or binary or multi-class classification several times we find that some of the class contains very low count of features supporting features so by using restricted Boltzmann machine we can generate the samples for that dominated class next is noisy level problem several times we get uh, the issue related to noisy levels means uh, data contains incorrectly assigned labels as you can see here in this example the hidden layer nodes contains the latent information that in one turn represents the labels also but you may use this hidden layer to for another latent information also this is not just a final case so if our 
if the hidden layer nodes represent those labels then after training the restricted Boltzmann machine we can identify the noisy labels for the data. Next is missing value issue. Several times the input data or features are missing. So we can train the restricted Boltzmann machine and identify the input value for any given latent value or for any the nearest uh, input value. Next part is unstructured data. We can use the RBM as an unsupervised system for unstructured or unprocessed data like images, videos, documents, XML kind of things. So these are the simple use cases of restricted Boltzmann machine.